How the heck are you, everybody? I'm Fastidious. Welcome to my channel. As you can see, I am not alone today. If you look on the screen, we've already got a guild boss battle up and running. I'm joined by the fantastic Zucania out of Germany, a very, very amazing up and coming YouTuber, as well as a Twitch streamer extraordinaire. I think many of you people might know him from Twitch already. Um, you know, if you don't want to pay for takeovers or you want to just get the best takeover in the world for 100% free, this might be your guy already. So, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself in just one second. The reason, the reason you're not talking yet is because you're focusing on a guild boss run. And let me tell the people what we're gonna accomplish here today. Fastidious. Fastidious. So we are gonna bring to the public, I've never seen on YouTube before. Have you seen this trick before, Zook? No, no, yeah. I didn't. I've heard about it like five or six months ago. Just some viewers messaged me about it. I never got around to making the video. I actually never tested it out for myself because I thought it was like this niche little trick. But if you see here, I think for many people, this is gonna be a really easy way to tack on one, two, three, maybe even more if you're a super high-end account, uh, thousands more of damage. So Zook, you wanna introduce yourself and, and tell us what we're gonna do here today? Yeah, so they wanna show a normal run like you would do it normally. And my name is Sukanya. I stream on Twitch most likely every day. Unless something comes up in real life, and or I it's also Sunday. do YouTube content on or Sundays, true, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> Sundays I don't stream, and yeah, I'm also kind of new. Not everyone knows me, and I wanna change that. And Fasty just helping me out with this, and I wanna say a thank you. <laughs> thank you to you for 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 bringing this. Because uh, yeah, I thought of making this video, I think in October. And I was like, you know what, maybe maybe not for me. But now that I've seen the results you've gotten and you came to me with it, I was like, yeah, we have to make this video. Let me let you yeah. focus on the run. But essentially, it's going to be one trick. It might seem slightly technical when you first see it. But once you get it, it makes the run way less technical. It kind of removes all... If you guys have ever watched me do a guild boss takeover or do guild boss guides or something, I'm like, ugh, I wish that you could do Stu half X. Well, this is like 0.05X. Uh, if you do it effectively. So what we're doing right now is not the quote unquote interesting part of the video, but we need to set a baseline, right? So what Zook is doing right now is just doing his normal, we're in playtest mode, but you're doing right your normal Nightmare 4 run. This is your normal team. For some use it reason, you're using the strange looking character. I believe her name is Anal. Anai. <laughs> Anai, okay, excuse me. I got that one wrong. But you can see he's got a burn heavy team. Anai actually does work well on this team. Like I said, she's not terrible. She's just suboptimal for so many things. Except for specific situations that I described just like this. Like, you need burn. Uh, she He does have an IA3. So with that A1, we're getting tons of magic res reduction. It's going to work out really nicely for, you know, the burns that we're putting out from Hex. Uh, the burns that we're putting out from Anai. The burns that we're putting out for Arrogance. We're going to keep a really high uptime. To be decided, you chat, uh, chat, excuse me, commenters, you can let me know, viewers, uh, if it, it crocs with any burn or just burns placed from her. But you can see here... Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but just two debuffs from the right. You can see the magic res reduction is on all the time. So it works really nice for, works really well for this team. So I, th I think it's pretty fun to just highlight that while you finish off this run and then we get into the technical stuff. But you can see we're looking at a pretty big number here, just past 44k with over 40, with about 44 seconds left. Basically what I found, if you're like 41 and a half K, at least usually when I run it with the strategy I use, which is nearly the exact same thing as you, um, if you're if you're at that 41 and a half with a minute left, you're looking pretty good. So you can see we're, we're going to hit it. It's going to be tight, though. So that's a great transition into what we're about to do now, because this trick, it's going to help people that get stressed out with their deployments, with their switching. But it's also going to crank out a bit more damage. So we just passed 50, but that is sweaty, huh? 50.6. Yes. Now Let me hand it over to you. Now you can exhale. You did the run successfully uh, with your trick. Talk about what it is. I wanted to save that for you. And then talk about, I think you were saying you can get 2,000 more blood consistently doing this, right? Yeah, around 2K. Okay. Not, sometimes it's the same, but only because someone didn't crit because I don't have anything on high, uh, high crit rate. But usually I get around 2K more blood. But now I want to show you guys the auto mode, how it looks, and then, then we show you guys how it looks after, right? Yeah. So that was the normal scenario run. That's how the normal auto mode looks if you don't do it with the trick. And now totally. we're gonna do the trick. I just yeah. wanted to show the first place. Yeah, well, maybe press challenge again once more. It's just so I can tell people what to okay. look for. So look at how people are coming out onto the battlefield, right? That's gonna be the key thing. 
look at this there's this there's there's beats right so we get arrogance then someone comes up and up and it does happen very fast but it's da, 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 right uh and what we're about to do right so, now it will look a little bit different we actually and then we show it at the end we cannot it will look slower when i do it but on the auto mode it will look light Lighting. you will yeah. not even you will just see ref cool down on the bottom right you will not even know that it was placed ever you won't even believe it and i'll say one more thing so I think this like one to three K range is probably where most people will fall depending on the potency of their team. But if you're a really high level player, like I know you did this on not real Venom's account and you were yes. what, 99.7 thousand blood. What, what improvement did you get yes. him with this strategy? I think on his account, I got seven K more. Seven K. Like, so if you're at a high level, for example, like you know, Ray yeah. from Dragon Slayers is a good friend of mine. Also Venom's becoming a good friend of mine as well. But Ray, when he was chipping away, he was the first in the world to get 100k unassisted, right? He would update me with every 100 extra blood he was getting, right? It's yeah. like, <laughs> it's that incremental. So you employed this trick and you brought Not Real Venom from like 90 or 92 to nine, 92. almost up, to almost 100, it was 99.7k, almost 100k. So that's just remarkable. Yeah. He's second in the world yesterday after Deeg. So that's pretty amazing. Yes. And now I cannot really talk because I need to focus. Yeah. Yeah. So I just <laughs> it just and Bastidius can do the talking. <laughs> All right, guys, you're stuck with me. But uh, basically, what we're gonna do it's like what we're gonna call the escape trick. Um, so I'll you'll watch it as it happens. But basically, Zook here, as soon as he places and lets go of arrogance, he's pressing escape, and you'll notice he's placing these heroes. There's Hex. Hex looks like he's still there. The game can't even catch up with how fast it's happening. So as soon as he's he's pre he's on C uh, PC right now. So he's holding down with his 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 mouse. As soon as he lets go, he presses escape. That allows him to pause the instance because it brings up this enable quick cast, resume game, pause menu, right? Uh, so now he finally got everyone out. When you see that on auto in real time, you could actually see, and I know Zuki will explain this after, but I'll let you focus now. When you see that uh, in real time with the 3.5x crazy auto stuff, right? It, they just all show up. It's, it's insane. You never even see Wrath touch the battlefield because it is so min-maxed. It might not seem like much, but this actually, when you know how to do it, uh, makes it a lot easier than the way I normally do it, which is, you know, frantically moving my cursor around trying to get everyone deployed properly. This actually gives you that, you press escape, you get a moment to breathe, and you make sure you click correctly. I will say, uh, and you'll see it again, uh, you can rewind, or maybe we'll show it again after this. He was actually, he would like deploy he uh, arrogance, for example, and then he goes and you hover your mouse above, if you want to do hollow necks, for example, above arrogance because everyone's going to shift over uh so there is like a strategy to knowing because it's happening so fast that the animations in the game aren't keeping up but again it feels technical but once you figure it out it, it's just way better and way smoother and it actually does it becomes easier it alleviates stress because there's less you know like i said frantic dodging your your mouse all over the screen i'll just let the run go here we can see what anal is able to do to empower this team um so, nai excuse me uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool team here. I always find it interesting when I see other people go and uh, they do it on the right side. I always do it on the left side for no reason. It's just that's what I do. There, there's no benefit, uh, but it just feels... Same thing with Gear Aid 1. I always do Gear Aid 1 on the left side as my main platform. A, a lot of other people do the right side. Um, but yeah, you can see. So whenever he needs to pause, he'll do the escape. I, obviously, once this run is finished, uh, we'll hand, there's another good escape moment. Uh, so as soon as he's he's picking people up and stuff, it just it just cuts out any moment of uh, in between that could be a, a loss, right? Because at the end of the day, we are filthy, greasy min maxers, and uh, this is the best way to do it. I, I I'm gonna start doing it because I mean let let's talk about it. My average run on auto is about 48.5. So if I ever want to get 50, I always manual it. Granted, I might be switching my team comp up now. Um, I'm gonna build up my lust and arrogance properly and maybe make the switch. Uh, but I will say, you know, if I could just get 2k more, I would have a full auto every single time team. That would be the difference for me. But also for Zook, I mean, we saw him just get 50.6 on manual. You can imagine how on auto, that's gonna probably fall in this like 49 to 51 range, which is like right on the cusp. Do I get it? Do I not get it? You employ this strategy with 2k more, there's a big difference between the low end being 51k. So you're never sweating. You're always guaranteed. Uh, that could be so this is gonna be a huge trick, I think, for people that are resistant to adopting like a laurel strategy, and you're trying to finally get that uh, 
that two rune, the two attempt 50k. So maybe you're right on the cusp. You finally are getting your 20ks, but you don't know if you can get 25k. I'll tell you right now, if you're getting 20k or 21k without a Laurel strategy, bringing Laurel in with proper technique should get you 25k plus. And then with this, it might remove all the sweatiness. Uh, and then you've got an auto where two autos, you get your 50k in two runes. So I, th I see that as a big way it could help people. So let's actually focus on the battle here. We just hit a minute and a half and we're just over 53, uh, excuse me, 53. Little number dyslexia there. Uh, 35K, um, going really smooth. The boys dialed in. Uh, I'll just tell you guys, like if you want takeovers on Twitch and you want to watch them, you don't want me specifically to do them. Zakania is probably the, obviously after me, obviously, uh, probably the, the next best I know. <laughs> uh, that, that there is at takeovers. And I mean, some days he was telling me he does 20 takeovers. Uh, so definitely a di different style than me, but the results speak for themselves. And I will say, uh, definitely Void Rift takeovers are a bit of his specialty. So that's a great thing to check him out for. He did an all epics, uh, Void Rift series featuring my girl, Am uh, Amani, uh, who I absolutely love, obviously. And she's, she's truly a beast, Amani, for all epics. Amani taking down Lassier like it's nothing. So let's take a peek now. We already just passed 50k and we still had 20 plus seconds to go. We're looking at 52 and a half minimum here. Uh, and you can see the results are speaking for themselves. So there you go. That's 52.6, 52.7, 52.8. 52, 52, 8. Can we get 53? We got 53. So we went up from 50.6 to over 53K. I mean, that is a yes. that's a 5% improvement, right? That is, that's over a 5% improvement. That is humongo. And look at those numbers. Anai are, uh, coming in with actually more than Lust. Pretty interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, Chalice more than Lust. <laughs> yeah. Makes me question your Lust build, but that's a story for another day. But look at that. Uh, Hex and Arrogance getting a huge boost from that magic res reduction. Great job, dude. The floor is yours. Talk to us. Thanks. So, to make this strategy to get to the to the rank one, which I will try again on Monday, I will try to get 105k blood on Venom's account. And without this technique, I will not be able to do that. So, because his Hex is Awakened 3, Compared to the other people, that's Awakened 5. And yeah, you also have to train it a little bit because when you place the units, they still show on the bar on the bottom. You place the units, you make escape, maybe, but they still show down there. Maybe you want to just and show then, the first 20 seconds so you can show what I was trying to describe with like how they move with it. Just yeah. not do a real run, but just show people. Because I do think that's going to be the, the hardest thing for people to get used to. Because you need to get used to this. Yeah. From the start, it will not go clean. Like, for example, now I place... Arrogance is placed, but he's still shown here, right? Mm -hmm. So all the left side units will move one to the right. Yeah. So I want to grab Ref, right? I, but I hold my mouse on Hollow. Yeah. I make escape wake away and I grab him, but, but my mouse was on Hollow, right? Yeah. Now yes. I make escape again and then I do the same thing. And now Ref will go back in the, in the pool. Now they get one to the left, depend where, where Ruff was last time. So I will hold my mouse here for Hex, and he will be here. Let right? me just explain, because I think sometimes yeah. it might seem obvious to you or some other uh, more advanced players, yeah. but they order, with weird exceptions like Cerberus, because it's stupid, that's a story for another day, but they order the heroes on the bottom from low left to right, lowest cost to highest cost, and it builds up from the right. Uh, so whenever you remove a player, everyone will shift, everyone to the left of that player will shift to the right further to right because that's where it's building up from so what you knew there is is a uh, uh, wrath when when he came back was going to be 16 costs so everybody that was less than 16 would be pushed further to the left so if you wanted dolores you need to be ready to the left vice versa when you place down arrogance because he was everyone to his left would then be moving right because he just left so it's just figuring out that balancing act it's going to be specific to your team but once you get it it's it, it's really easy actually once you know it right yeah, I mean, I already do it naturally, just by habit. Yeah. Just even if I don't need the extra 2k or something, I just do it because I got used to it already. So Well, and not just and getting like, used to it, right? It, it removes some stress. I like will consistently restart my runs because my fingers slipped or I didn't feel like I was fast enough. This yeah. allows you to you let go of your clicker with your mouse. Obviously, let me just tell you guys, this does not work on mobile, or at least to my knowledge. I don't know how you'd exit out on mobile. Is there a way this could work on mobile? Uh, it it can work if that you can... use two fingers. If you use two, but okay. It will, it will be still <laughs> faster than you would do it normally, but yeah. it is not a big improvement. Not as I would simple say. as pressing a button. 
Um, yeah. But I will say this is something I'm, I'm going to start doing now because uh, especially for takeovers and stuff, you want to crank out that last bit of damage, give them the best auto possible. Uh, I will, if you guys have ever watched me uh, on live do guild boss takeovers, I consistently will be restarting because my finger slips or I feel like that, that could have been faster. Yeah. We forgot one thing, Fastidious. We sure. didn't show the output. No, I didn't forget. I wanted to save it. We're going to wrap the video up, but we got to do it at the end. It's the oh. best part. This is the best part. Oh, I see. Yeah. So we do it now? Do it. All right. Now you guys can see it. <laughs> yeah. You barely see him breath. He <laughs> yeah. just appears there that he has cooldown. It's like... It's so fast. It looks like they all get dropped at the same time. It's crazy. Look at the time. Yeah. At 43, they was all placed. Yeah. That's... It was it's, three seconds. That's crazy. And on a normal case, you would get like 36, 38, somewhere there. I think even slower if you're not good, if you're not used to it. Yeah. Yeah. On and my like, Nightmare 2... I think I have the slow, slow yeah. version from it. But yeah, so to, to recap, the biggest obvious thing is is this, right? Getting oh yeah, look at look at, look at the slow version. There you go. So yeah. I think it was thirty six. Somewhere oh, there. Good. Yeah. But it's it's so like it was forty three. So, that's seven seconds more of full DPS, right? So that's the yes. obvious thing at the start of the battle. But I will say, let's be honest, Laurel Strat is the meta. It is what I think people should be running. I'm gonna make a video on like the basic version not like the advanced let's get 50k version i want to make a video on like you're getting 18k and you want to get 20 and then you watch yourself get 23 or you're getting 21 and you want to get 25 watch yourself get 27 because i've done that a lot and this is going to help a lot because it maximizes your switches you know then that, that, that when anytime people saw you right pausing after the beginning of the battle doing the escape trick it was because you were picking up wrath to put down laurel or something like this right exactly yeah yeah wait i i try always to get the most out of everything. It doesn't matter what I do, I try to find the best scenario. And that's a great uh, that's a great transition to getting the most out of everything, and we can wrap it up here. Thank you so much for coming on. You do have a video coming, this video will come out tomorrow, so on Sunday, you have a video coming out tomorrow when you guys are watching this video, so on Monday, where you're going on Venom's account for world, world number one, right on Codex Reset, right? Right, yeah. We go for rank one Codex and rank one uh, it was. Yeah, so That's what I will try to do at least. I cannot no, promise anything, guys, yeah. but yeah, you will try it. <laughs> so let me just tell you guys, people, uh, I am privileged to be at a point where I, I get a decent amount of viewers. I have a nice amount of subscribers, and I, you guys know more than anything, I love helping the community. And a be great way to do that is with smaller creators, because many of them are way better than me even. So that's a great way to have you on. But it's one thing I tell them is if we're going to do a collab and you want to get the full benefit of like a boost I can give you, but then have traction from YouTube, you need to have some great video ready. And you said, all right, how about the next day I get world number one on Codex and world number one on Guild Boss. So he's gonna deliver. So when you watch this video, subscribe on YouTube, not just on Twitch, so follow me on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and then head over the next day on Monday and you're gonna have that pretty awesome content. Yeah, thank you Fasigius for having me. And I will stream my, my uh, rank one prize on Twitch, but I will upload them on YouTube later, but I make a clear video about it. Totally. All right, guys. Okay, thank guys. you. <laughs> thank Thanks you for watching. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you, Zucania, for coming on. It's been a pleasure. And hopefully, let us know in the comments if this helps you out. If you like it, like it. Get in the comments if you have any questions. Share it with your mother. We'll see you in the next one. Fast idiots.